What's up guys, my name is Xmedia and I haven't uploaded a single video for like past four months. And in fact, I haven't really played that much neither. And just to point out, I'm obviously not that proud of that or anything, but like... Uh, but anyway, if you are new to this channel, I'm mostly known for in-game trading and making profit in video games. And during these past three years, uh, I believe it was since like the end of 2015, I've made around $18,000 in total. And uh, yeah, I mean, I lost uh, most of it later, but that's for another video. But anyway, um, in this video, I'm going to talk about the current trading situation. And if you are unaware of what happened to CSGO trading uh, in past few months, I guess. Um, well, I don't quite remember the facts, so let me know if I got something wrong. But uh, from what I understood, Valve has been threatened by some, some sort of organization to take uh, responsibilities and action against the gambling sites and the whole situation, I guess. So, long story short, they ended up uh, introducing the new system of trading. And basically, if you obtain a new item in a trade, it gets a 7-day trade hold. Well, uh, this made uh, many traders uh, cash out their items and basically quit trading. So, um, this affected prices uh, quite drastically. And just to point out, my inventory, for example, uh, dropped from like uh, 3.2k to about 1.5k and uh, that's like what 1.7k loss and all for nothing and yeah later on OP skins also found a way how to bypass uh, this 7 day trade hold and this system was shortly um, the solution was shortly uh, discovered by Valve and uh, quote unquote patched because uh, Valve being Valve uh, they took action very fast very quickly and they decided to shut down their site and all bots with items. Now, I read somewhere that there has been more than, uh, I think it was estimated total loss of $2 billion in skins uh, banned. So to be honest, I'm almost 99% sure that this isn't the real end of, of OP skins and uh, it's, it's simply too big of a business to just forget about uh, from one day to another. So the second question I got was, is it worth uh, to invest in CSGO and to trade up in CSGO? Well, um, I would probably look for some other solution. I mean, other than uh, to invest in CSGO for sure, at least for now, because uh, trading was already hard due to uh, pretty unpredictable prices and um, all that now they made it like I think it's like 10 times harder than it used to be to trade up and all that so I made most of my profit by flipping cheaper knives and I had like 60 knives in total maybe more even and I traded like four knives a day with like a 20 key profit maybe sometimes more maybe sometimes less but it was always around that and this way of trading isn't uh, sadly possible anymore uh, due to the seven day trade hold. But let's get back to the question. I would personally invest in either uh, Team Fortress 2 or maybe another game, you know, where that seven day trade hold isn't implemented. So the prices aren't affected as much. And also it is way easier to exchange items with each other. Anyway, guys, I will try to upload more frequently, uh, but this is all I wanted to say for now. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, see you guys in the upcoming video.